Welcome to Exchange Server Administration Edge Synchronization. In this video, we will create a new Edge subscription file by the name of edge1.xml and we will create a new Edge subscription by the following command like new Edge subscription file data brackets byte dollar again the bracket get content path c edge1.xml and encoding byte read count 0 bracket close site and the default first site name this is the command that you have to run to create a new edge subscription on the exchange server and after that we will start the edge synchronization and finally we will test the edge synchronization by the following command let like test edge synchronization full compare mode so let's move on to the server and get started so right now we are on our edge server that is 192.168.2.20 and if you go to the firewall and the inbound rules if you see this active directory lightweight directory service for ms exchange and if i go to the protocols and ports you can see the 50636 is open from all the remote ports on tcp so let me click on ok and let's have a look on another one let me see this one you can see the 50389 port is open our inbound port is open on our edge server so let's go to the exchange management shell and create the new edge subscription file and by the name of edge1.xml and it's asking me to confirm so let's confirm it by typing y so we have created the edge subscription file so let's see inside the c drive you can see this is the edge1.xml file and it looks like this so let me close this and let's go to the exchange server now so i will move this file to c drive of my exchange server so let me go to the c drive and i will paste it here so here now we have our h1.xml file so let's go to the exchange management shell and let's check the ad site first so we will type the command let get ad site and the site name is default first site name and let's try to create a edge subscription by the following command and you can see the IP address for this edge.techiejack.inside and be able to connect to that on the host port 50636. Let's try to confirm that. Let me go to the DC. This is Active Directory server and if we try to ping edge.techiejack.inside it is pinging and if we try to ping the edge server it is also pinging. So let's go back to our exchange server. So let's start the edge sync and I hit enter. Let me try to run that command let once again and you can see what is success. So let's check our edge subscription is created successfully or not. We will confirm it that with this command like test edge synchronization full compare mode. So we get the result and you can see start time all the things have been synchronized. So it has been configured successfully. So if we go and check our get receive connectors we have all the five connectors here you can see and in the send connector you can see the edge sync default first site name to internet address space you can see smtp star and the cost is 100 and same way you can see the edge sync inbound to default first site name if you go to the exchange admin center you can see all these three connectors this is the one we have created earlier and these are the new two connectors we have given by the edge sync you can see the edge is the server smtp the cost is 100 and same way we have the edge inbound to default first site name and if you go to the scoping you can see the edge server is there i hope you got the point how to configure edge sync so let's meet in the next video